Okay, Eamon's kind of ruthless. What's going on YouTube and what up to the Dragon Squad? I'm Ember the Blaze. And I'm Glacier the Iceborne. And we're Reaction Dragons. And if you like the vibe, like and subscribe. It doesn't cost a dime and helps us go full time. Just do it! Thanks so much for the support guys. Know what's on the mini for today, Glacier. We're back at you with another House of Dragons reaction. It's season one, episode seven. Episode seven, um, literally watched episode six, maybe four or five hours ago. So still fresh in our head, which is actually good for, you know, all the crazy shit that's about to happen. Um, I mean, at this point, Renera, Lenore, I guess, you know, Carl as well and the kids are at Dragonstone, I'm guessing. So good thing there is that's literally pretty much next door neighbors to Driftmark. So I know like based on the preview, we're probably gonna see uh, Lena's funeral, which, you know, RIP Lena. She went out like a true dragon rider, like a true legend. And I, I just wanna see at this point, yeah, I just wanna see, you know, how Dana and if it's like what we think, if he's gonna start gravitating towards Renera now that Lane is dead and Harwin's dead. So essentially on paper, they're still available, so to speak, but we'll see if they are, you know, actually hurting from the deaths or if they just kind of move on, you know, quick fast with it. Yeah, but it depends on how it's, uh, how fast Renera finds out. Renera might still obviously be loyal to Harwin because she doesn't know he's dead yet. I'm not saying she wouldn't be loyal when he's dead either, but. I mean, I feel like that news is gonna get out pretty quick that the shit that happened at uh, Hall. So it'll just, it'll just be a matter if she's just more angry about it because she does she is she gonna suspect that there was any foul play at hand or is it gonna be is it gonna end up being believable as just this tragic accident because of the curse that's that hovers over here and all but as far as Laris goes I just want to see what his end game is I mean I know as much as that he's gonna have you know dirt on Allison and he's pretty much gonna have her as blackmail so I guess it's just a matter of it's sooner or later that he gets his favor and it's, it's shit gonna hit the fan this episode because the way last the previews were making it seem we know Otto's gonna be back as the hand. I mean, you know shit goes down either before or after the funeral or during the funeral. Um, as far as like with Aegon, like I said, he's still kind of like angsty teen at this point, but I feel like there's gonna be something crazy that happened that's gonna kind of send him over the edge, either him or Aemon. I guess it's, it could be either or, because they're both, I mean, I feel like with Aemon, he's just more obsessed with getting a dragon, which we're kind of thinking that he's the one that takes Vagar. So we'll see what actually happens if he does acquire a dragon. If he's just, if he's like tired of being bullied at this point, he's just gonna start like, going off on people. I don't know, a lot of shit's happening and I just kinda wanna jump right in and see how crazy this episode gets. You ready, Glacier? I'm ready. All right, guys, as usual, take a couple seconds, hit the like button down below. The engagement does lead to more views. As usual, you can catch the full link to watch along with this and much more of content on our Patreon. Shout out to the patrons, really appreciate you guys. With that being said, let's fucking go. Yeah, I'm probably gonna get right into the funeral, huh? Yep. Time the stone to get thrown down. I love how, like, with each house, they have their own funeral, like, you know, burial traditions. Yep, because we got first episode when they, the car is the baby and the wife. Yeah. I wonder if they're gonna hold ill will towards Damon, even though he didn't really have anything to do with Lena's death, but he might. I don't know what close, but he's looking at Damon though. Damn, so how far ahead are we? Because he's got the hand sigil, so. Damn, it must not be long. I would imagine they do the funeral pretty quickly. Yeah, he already heard I feel bad for Lenor, because <laughs> probably, I'm guessing it was 10 years since he saw his. Oh. Oh no. Why are you laughing? Ours, ours. Uh, like he's like all of a sudden like. But I feel bad for Lenor, because I'm guessing he hadn't seen Lena in that 10 year gap. Yeah, he never saw her. I miss my brother, I want to see him. Now she's in, now he's yeah. seen her again, but dead. Fuck. Damn, oh my god, dragon. dragon. Five dragons. Chilling. All up there. Cyrax is right there. Well, let's go up there. I want to meet all of them right now. Meet the whole dragon family. Me well, personally. all of us, probably. No, I, me, Glacier, not them. Me, bow to me. King of all dragons, Glacier. We'll bow to you to punch in your dragon nuts. Don't ever disrespect us again. Your little cousins have lost their mother. I could use a kind word. I have an equal nice claim to sympathy. Chase. Yeah. So they know. The Valerians are our king, and the Strongs are not. They'd be suspicious. Mm. Do you understand? Yeah, it feels I mean, it's going to be hard for him to understand. He's like, but that's my dad. Some shit to pop off. And Sarah's, damn. He's frowning around his brother. School of yeah. green, school of black, dragons. Her and her Flesh. bugs. She reminds me of the, gosh, what's the girl's name in Beetlejuice? We have nothing in common. She's our sister. Damn. You marry her then. I would perform my duty if mother Damn. nearly betrothed us. <laughs> if only. Damn, he's down for it. Keep our Valyrian blood pure. She's an idiot. 
Then he's like, I'm down to Mary if I need to. Mm. Oh, he's like, I'll make sure I get my shit, please. I want to be paid up. Yeah, I'm fly on the wall. It is only liquor pride, Sir Kristen. Laris is the new Lord of Paramon. Yep. Oh, he gets to maybe he can marry her, but what does he have to do? That means Viserys gotta get taken out. Say something. I say I'm sorry for starters. Yeah. Oh, he's just standing there. I mean, also just being there is enough, I guess, sir. The Lord of the Tides rules the sea. Sorry. Yeah. I don't want to. It's your birthright, lad. Yeah, go sound like Jon Snow. Huh? It means everyone's dead. Damn, he thinks of the dark details of what that entails. Everyone but I wonder if Renera will betroth one of her kids to. I mean, she needs to keep her alliance strong at this point. Yeah. Since Allison turned down her offer. I don't know how she feels about Renera knowing that that's not her, they're not her blood, blood kids. How are they feeling? Come on. Please keep your alliances because the parents aren't. The kids gotta keep getting along. Oh, Aegon's drinking, drinking though? Is that? Yeah. Oh. He's, gonna be, he's gonna act out. Talk to your brother, man. He ain't gonna be around that much longer. Yeah, he's not handling it well. Poor Lena. Man, yeah, I feel bad, man. He lost his first lover, Joffrey. He lost his sister. Yeah, he's had a lot of loss. Oh, shit. Retrieve your patron. Damn. Ooh. Brother. I'll go get your boy, Carl. Ooh. So, if you were looking, like, you're gonna cause accusations. Your girls are the very image of their mother. A comfort and an anguish, as I well remember. Yeah. The gods can be cruel. It seems they've been especially cruel to you. Damn, mm. you look like shit. It's time that you came home. Pentos is my home. I know we've had our differences, but let them pass with the years. There's a place for you in my court. That's something you should need. I need oh. nothing. Damn. Wait, he wants demons so cold now. I feel like he is hurting. Sorry I do feel like he lost, touched my friends. Ooh. No matter how fat the leech grows, it always wants for another meal. Damn, yeah, yeah. Damon's like, be careful what you say to me. I'll pop your ass right here. And I'll get away with it. I'm going to bed, Emma. Shall I see after Queen Allison, your grace? No, sir, Harold. Wait, you, you just called her right Emma. Watch that, Kristen. Damn. He's called her by the wrong name after his dead wife. Damn, why'd he do that? Maybe he's just having, like, flashbacks being at a funeral. Like, maybe it's starting to affect him mentally. Oh, let's see what Grandpa has to say. Brother. Get your drunk ass up. Otto has that kind of swag. Pick his ass up. Like, get your ass to bed. Remember how Tyrion used to slap Joffrey? And he might be right. He might be the one that gets big. Yeah, Aemon's like, I want a dragon. Boom! Look at it. Oh, shit! The shadow in the clouds. Is that Vagar? He's like, I'm getting Vagar. The crown was yours until those fools at the Great Council plucked it from your head. It's not justice for your wife that drives you to your own ambition. I gave up the idea of wearing a crown a generation ago. It is you, Lord Husband, who refuses to abandon this pursuit, even now at the cost of our children. Mm. Damn, she's like, let it go already. I mean, I get it. She thinks it's like, it's more about you than you trying to like, don't try to make it about, like, don't try to make it about me. Peace. I want Driftmark yeah. to pass through Lena's line to Bela. It's a true Valarian blood. And disinherit our son. His son will one day sit the Iron Throne. You would have me cast an even darker shadow Damn. over those little boys than already exists. We are alone here, husband. You can speak what? the plain truth as we both know it. Rhaenyra's children are not of your blood. Yeah, the brown-haired elephant in the room. History does not remember blood. It remembers names. Damn. So she's saying, like... I mean, yeah, don't throw the fucking kids under... I get where she's coming from, though, too, at the same time. Because she's like, look, these are actual kids. Or grandkids. These other ones aren't. Harren's curse is said to be as strong now as it was after the conquest. It's a ghost story. One Sir Otto and the Queen would gladly exploit. I do Ooh. not believe Alicent capable of cold Damn. murder. Damn. Damn. Damon's straight like, oh. Damon's call like, it how I see it. 
Did you love her? We were happy enough. Well, that Damn. in itself is a great achievement. So there's always something between them. Yeah, I'm sorry. Don't be. I am at least allowed to mourn my losses. Don't let anyone see you. I want to do in the middle of the beach. Go in a cave or something. I'm like, I'm sorry. We just can't help ourselves. Don't do it. Damn, he said the same thing to Lena, though, when Lena apologized for the death of Rhea. He's like, don't be. I'm no longer a child. It was only a matter of time. But not here, man. I don't trust fucking Otto. Like, I, I sign off on it. I just don't sign off it right here. All right, we're going to do it. We're getting it oh, in. But we're going to do it for real for real this time? No performance issues? Yep. Like, but literally the day he goes, I felt of bad. the funeral? Last time I felt bad. That's what it all was. I just felt bad that, I, you know. Yeah, I mean, it is. They actually love each other. But notice the dynamic now versus the last time they hooked yeah. up. It was more lust. This is more like. Yeah, more love. Like, yeah. Love. What she had with Kristen. That first night. But how, what, how do you get a dragon that's already fully grown? That doesn't have a rider yet. All it has to do is bond with you. Oh shit. Rumbling. Yeah, that rumbling is dragon snores from Vagar. That'd be crazy. Yeah, it is. Yep, Vagar breathing. <laughs> what Subtitles. do dragons dream of when they take a little dragon snooze? Damn. Bro, the size comparison. He's gonna be fucking pissed. Like the, at first, he's like, who the fuck are you? He's just gonna climb up on it without even fucking saying shit. He's like, maybe. I'm feeling myself. I already started sunfire in the you face. You got balls of steel. If you're doing that without even waking him up. He's like, good, then that means I deserve my dragon. <laughs> who goes that? Eamon has balls oh. of cast iron. You might feel some type of way, like no one's up there. Oh shit. Oh shit, he's listening. Oh, I'm so badass if he gets Vagar. It's like, oh. Vagar's alright. Instant bond. I mean, as far as I'm concerned, you, you deserve him. Yeah. <laughs> like, you deserve her, I should say. Queen right now. She's like, you know what? I knew those guys fucked you over when they got you that pig dragon, so. Let's see how they feel when you're riding Vagar now. I mean, maybe this is meant to be. Shit. He's like instantly bonded. I'm just hoping he doesn't fall off and dies. Oh shit. And you're like, that's our mom's dragon. Like, what the shit? That is so awesome. Let's go. Right now, I'm all for it. I don't. No one clap me in that. It's a book reader. I don't give a like shit. Eight, Amon, eight, Amon eight, earned this ooh. shit. He might die, bro. You survive this maiden voyage. You know how strong dragon. you have to be to hold that shit. The upper body strength, though. <laughs> He's like, oh my god. Yeah. Vagar's like, I'm just gonna give you the ride of your life, so you never want to do this again. Yeah, like Top Gun. Uh, so bad. Triumphant music means my dragon. Well, I mean, like, so the people don't clap me. Like, did you know the Amen turns out to be a piece of shit? But, like, I don't know how he turns out right now. I'm talking about in the moment now. It's badass that he has a dragon from what he went through last episode. Or, that's sad, though, because they're like, that's our dragon. You know, they're going to be like, Bullshit. I mean, I get where they're going to come from. Their mom literally just died and then Vagar's gone, but. And then he took it. He's like, oh, it's mine now. I like this whole Amen arc that we're getting right now. Yeah, all I'm saying. Do you like, damn, did he just fucking get up and leave? Who is it? Oh, he might feel some type of way because that's his former yeah, his wife's dragon. Dead wife's dragon. Yeah. It's him. It's me. Vega is my mother's dragon. Your mother's dead. Ooh. Vega has a new rider now. She was mine to claim. Then you should have claimed her. Cousins can find you a pig to ride. It would suit you. God! <laughs> Fuck off. Oh my god! Oh! Come at me again and I'll feed you to my dragon. Okay, Eamon's kind of ruthless. Damn, look at the days are sticking up. Like, we're not friends anymore. Oh god, god, god damn! damn. I mean, shout out to Luke and Jace for sticking up for... Oh! Jumping his ass. Oh, kids aren't getting along anymore. Because I got that big, big, big energy now. 
Damn, by the throat. Oh, no, don't. Don't do anything you're going to regret. Die screaming in flames just as your father did. Oh, God. Doesn't know, does he? Oh, no. God. Bro, going for kill shot. Oh! Damn, Eamon's a piece of shit now. Why not really? Yeah, I mean, once he got that Vagar energy, he's like... Oh! Oh! Oh, shit! Leaking! His eye might be gone. My prince. My prince. Let me see. Clutch. Oh, good. Oh, no. His eye's gone. His eye's gone? He's gonna have an eye patch now? It will heal. Will it not, Maester? The flesh will heal. Oh my god. But the eye is lost, your grace. She's gonna demand that. What was that for? It was nothing compared to the abuse your brother suffered while you were drowning in your cups, you fool. Now it's gonna definitely yeah. cause a line in the sand. Because obviously they're gonna protect their own. A lot of girls are fucked up. A little close. It's like, what the fuck happened? Okay. And Renair's gonna be pissed. Luke, who did this? They attacked me. He attacked Baylor. Oh, Luke, 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 Luke. Oh, shit. Damn, they're gonna fight to the death, though. This is like the beef between Arya and Joffrey over her wolf. And look at Damon. Oh, they got Otto. I wonder if Luke, like, understood what Aemon was saying when he said that. Like, oh, he doesn't know, mm -hmm. does he? Vile insults were levied against them. What insults? Ooh. Uh-oh. I was like... The legitimacy of my son's birth was put loudly to question. He called us bastards. And where did they oh. get that idea? This is the highest of treasons. Ooh. Oh, shit. Prince oh, no, Aemon must be sharply questioned so we might learn where he heard such slimes. Yeah. Where did you hear this lie? The insult was training yard bluster. The lot of boys, it was nothing. Aemon, I, I asked you a question. I wonder the boy's father. Perhaps he might have something to say in the matter. Yes, where is Sir Oh, shit. Entertaining his young squires. No adventure. Ooh. Of course, oh. like, watch it. Uh-oh. Bro, shit's getting so tense right now. Look at me. Shit. Your king demands an answer. I don't think he'll snitch. If anything, he'll probably say his brother. It was Uncle. Oh shit, yeah, he did say his brother. Tell me the truth of it! Oh, we know, Father. Damn. Everyone knows. Oh no. Just look at them. <laughs> I mean, he's not wrong. Oh shit. But this is the truth that Cyrus does not want to face. Oh, Lord Clarus is right there. Oh shit. Oh no. I mean, everybody does know. It's not like anybody's shocked about it, but the fact Ooh, that it's out in the open now. The infighting must cease! All of you! And still. Your father, your grandsire, your king demands it! Damn. He's trying to avoid drama at all cost. Aemond has been damaged permanently, my king. Goodwill cannot make him whole. I know, Alison. But I cannot restore his eye. No, because it's been taken. What would you have me do? There is a debt to be paid. It's like cut out Luke's I eye. I one of her son's eyes in return. Oh fuck off, Alicent. Like that's Ooh. ever gonna happen. If the king will not seek justice, the queen will. Sir Kristen, bring me the eye of Lucerus Valarian. Oh hell no! Oh shit! You will do no such thing. Stay I'll kill your you hand. first. No, you are sworn to me. As your protector, my queen, this matter is finished. Do you understand? Wait, did Kristen like say he's not gonna do it? Like say I'm your as your protector? Oh, as your protector. I'm not a, your like your per, your hitman. It's like if Luke if Luke comes at me, then anyone whose tongue dares to question the birth of Princess Rhaenyra's sons should have it removed. Oh, damn. I mean, yeah, Cyrus is obviously gonna choose Rhaenyra. Damn, yeah, her side. Damn. Alison, stay oh, with the shit. Tank. God. Oh shit. Oh, now, damn. now Chris is gonna get involved. Ooh, Damon stopped him. Oh, you flouted it all to do. And now you take my. Yeah. Into even that, you feel entitled. Exhausting, wasn't it? Oh, shit. Oh, they see you as. Yeah, the crazy bit. Oh, damn. Damn, cut her hand. Oh, you drew blood? Oh. Oh, shit. This means war. Uh oh, yeah. I don't know what the, well, I don't know what the laws are here. I don't know what Viserys can do. I, I mean, I'm sure that would be that would count as treason. Oh shit! Oh no! 
don't know what the fuck's about to happen. Tension. I gained a dragon. Yep. Damn, Eamon's like worth it. I took a Vagar. Bro, it's just so crazy. Oh, there's alliances right there. Yeah, right there. Line is drawn. Damn. Fuck. I mean, Allison's lucky that Renera didn't start spewing allegations about Harwin and uh, Lionel. I've conducted myself in a manner. Already the word is spreading the... Oh, true. And ensured my husband's... I've never seen that side of you, my daughter. Damn, it's like, I'm kind of proud. Damn. What that rogue yeah. game and... Mm. The boy was right. It's worth a thousand times the price he paid. Fuck. He's thinking long, long yeah. game. He's got Vagar. He's got the biggest dragon in the kingdom. That's a deep ass cut. Fuck, man. It looks real as fuck. It is real. I'm a method actor. I told her, cut me for real. I need to just start stepping I have up. failed you. What's going to happen? I had hope to bait. A lot less drama, that's for damn sure. Yep. I hate yeah. the god. Damn. There you go, yeah. No. Good. Yeah, don't make him feel like shit. He already lost his sister. There, he needed He's that. Going through enough. Oh, what are you doing? Yeah. Damn. You deserve a husband. That's some good uh, self-reflection. Yeah. But yeah. He's just like, look, I haven't been there. I've been too busy indulging my own shit. Wouldn't he be king of the throne? Or is there only one heir? I guess he'd be king consort. Okay. Viserys. We'll speak no more of it. Yeah, it's like, I'm literally dying day by day. I don't want any drama. And I'm sure I'll, like that whole commotion where he's getting pissed off and interrogating, that took a lot of energy out of him yeah. too. He just got that. It took a couple more years off him, probably. Yeah. <laughs> I'm a scarab squad. Oh shit. The day will doubtless come when I require such a friend. You think she were contemplate killing the Saris? She would. That be your favor. She would kill once she once she him. she's like I need to kill him because if not I wouldn't be able to sleep at night. It's like well, sorry man you overplayed your hand. Can you please call him Damon? He is just fucked. I don't like the fact that you're calling him Uncle. <laughs> oh, it's like Ooh, official. I'm gonna use your history. <laughs> Damn. Oh, what about what about? Oh, yeah, well, Lanar. Well, yeah, what about? He just devoted herself to you. Yeah, that would create enemies with the Valarians. I don't know if this is a good idea. Yeah, what the fuck is she doing? How he feels about Aegon. Hmm. So what are you implying? <sighs> oh. What the fuck are you saying, Renera? Oh no, we're gonna take out Lanor. This is dangerous territory you're treading. Shit. You want him to kill Lanor? Who the fuck was that? What the fuck? Oh shit. Oh no. There's the witness. Oh shit. There's his Can he beat him fight. though? Oh shit. Bro, this is so crazy. Oh shit. Oh! Oh no! 
That was the guy that Damon killed, though. Damn. What the fuck? But was it a ploy? Like, did they use the other dead body and put that in the fireplace? And then and they ran away with the yeah, gold. Yeah, and, and then Lenor and Carl were run away together. Oh, it is, bro. The yeah, guy, they snapped that guy's setup. neck. Yeah, it was a setup. Okay, good. So Damon's not that ruthless. Okay. And that's why they needed a witness, the kid, to see them left, fighting, fighting. And then when he come back, the yeah. Damn, and they should have getting married now, so the plan worked. But how long, I wonder, they waited to get married? Oh, shit. Yeah, I mean, is this not going to look suspicious that the wedding's happening so soon after the Lenor's death? That's why I said let him whisper. Yeah, he's right here. There. He's alive. They're both alive. Yeah. Damn, shaved his head. Yep. Oh, at least y'all can go be together. Yeah, okay. Damn, roll credits. I, I knew Fuck. it before he showed me. I knew it before he showed me. Holy shit, how does a show keep getting better? I don't know, but episode seven, Glaze, what'd you think? Uh, amazing episode. It's like, it's gonna sound like a pull string dog. Oh, it's my favorite episode. It's my favorite episode. But um, I think because we don't want to be all over the place, I guess we start with the funeral. I mean, the funeral, right. you just feel the tension in the air. No one really knew what to say to anybody. It was just like awkward stares. Um, but what's his, uh, uh, Lord Corliss's brother? I'm yeah, Vayman, you can tell he's just like, like switch it up. He's like, R's, R. Like, I guess the way he was saying it and the way he was looking, that's why it, Sparked a laugh That's out of Damon. Damon's like, "Get the fuck out of here!" Because the way he was looking, like, like kind of like how the the queen that never was felt, like felt like it's Damon's fault. Like, yeah, and I might feel like there's lines getting drawn in the sand, even within the Valerian household. So, but you already know that Vayman doesn't like Damon because the whole the whole scene when they're trying to figure what to do with the crab feeders, like Vayman wasn't really fucking with Damon. Like, it was more Lanor than anything. Damn, bro, I was about. I mean, I'll I'll, I'll wait till we get to that point. Now I was about to say something though, but go ahead. But yeah, so you have that shit going down. And then the whole, the fact that like Eamon stole Vagar. So in the moment, I was like, damn, I, I mean, I like this arc with Eamon just for the fact that he was being bullied by his brother and his and his nephews, essentially. Yep. And they gave him the pig, like, you know, pretty much talking shit about him. And you know how obsessed he was with getting a dragon. So we were right in the sense that we knew that it was going to be Eamon that steals Vagar. But the fact that he bonded with Vagar immediately. Like, Vagar was about to, like, maybe like a Swiss second was about to hit or some. But as soon as you started giving the Valerian commands, for, which I'm guessing was the equivalent of, like, stay or relax or chill. But my thing then, is, like, could it, is it, like, if is it a race to Vagar who says that first? Meaning, like, any Targaryen blood, any Valerian blood. If anyone runs up there and, and just says what, um, not anyone, but I'm saying anyone with Targaryen blood. I feel like part of it is, yes, Targaryen blood gives you that handy cap where he's not going to just, like, immediately kill you. But also the fact that, like, I feel like Vagar respected the fact that Aemon was there, like, standing right in front of her, and, like, almost, like, fear. Like, obviously, Aemon was probably scared in that moment, but he stood there, like, kind of like when you, what they say you do, like, if you uh, get approached by a wolf or some shit. Just stay in your ground, yeah. don't let him show fear. So I feel like the fact that Vagar respected Aemon because he was just standing there, like, almost to a point fearless and was, giving those commands. You know what's funny, though, is, like, before he gave those commands, like, when he went to go grab him the first time, he's, like, looked at him, and he's, like, all right, and, like, kind of like a, like a warning look, and then it, he didn't kill him on that first thing. He's, like, I'll give you the first, like, if it was, like, uh, like me or someone else that's not a Valerian blood to go walk at him, he's, like, no, warning shot. And then oh. the second time, he's, like, oh, sorry, now I'm done. <laughs> yeah, if it was anybody that wasn't Targaryen, I don't think you even got a warning shot. You immediately got burnt to a crisp. That's that. <laughs> burnt to a crisp, God. <laughs> but, yeah, that shit is crazy. The fact that you took him on that, you took Vagar on the maiden voyage. But it, I was like, I was signing with Amon just in terms of the arc, not him as a, oh, you're doing the right thing by stealing Vagar literally the day of or the day after. Well, it didn't hit me. Funeral. It didn't hit me till a little bit. Like the whole time I was, I said it during the reaction, so I'm not going to be a hypocrite now, but I was like, yeah, fuck yeah, Amon, get that dragon. And then it wasn't until uh, Damon's daughters were looking outside the window. I'm like, oh, fuck, they're probably, uh, the dragon's probably going to one of them. But I'm, I thought yeah. for sure one of them had an egg already or they had dragons. So I thought that it was are, the oldest one. I want to say the oldest one is Bela. I know that it's Bela and, and Reen are the two daughters. Okay. I'm, I'm, okay, if, if I'm wrong, correct me, but I feel like it was Bela that's the oldest. And remember, um, Lena said that she was already born to Joseph. Her dragon was almost like hatched the, like the moment she was born. So yep. that's why she was instantly bonded. So it was the younger one that she got the egg that didn't hatch yet. Yep. So I feel like if anything, it would have gone down to her, unless it was like, kind of like a Hamian that goes to the oldest, and then the youngest one gets the oldest one's dragon. Maybe that's what it yeah. has, and then they just have the egg I mean, that doesn't but, I mean, I don't know if it was Fate of the Gods, bro, but all I know is when I saw the preview that episode, next episode, Eamon looks like he'd be riding Vagar. Yeah, he, he earned <laughs> the right to ride Vagar. I mean, at the end of the day, like when Eamon pulled up on the cousins and the nephews, 
And he was pretty much like, look, if you were supposed to lay claim to Vagar, you should have taken Vagar. Because I bonded with him all of like five minutes. So it's my dragon now. Sorry. But the way he went about it, he continued to like kind of push on. The fact that he punched both the girls in the face. And I mean, it was pretty much like fight to the death between these kids. I was like, holy shit. Just right when we were saying, oh, these kids need to like stay together and, and not fight. They immediately like fight to the death to the point where it was Luke, right? That dealt the, the slashing blow. I'm pretty sure Luke sliced it. Up. Yeah, because uh, Luke sliced through the sand in his face because he was on the ground. Yeah, so it was Luke that dealt the the blow that pretty much pretty took sure. his eye out. And then he was saying that foul shit, like. But yeah, and then the fact is, like, kind of reminds us that Luke did not was not aware of the shit about like Harwin being their dads. Yeah. Because he was because because then Eamon made that line about like, oh, your dad's dead, and he's like, no, my dad's not alive. Da-da-da. Like talking about Lenor, and then Jace was like, oh shit, and then he was like, oh, he doesn't know Lord Strong. So it kind of just reminds us as viewers, like it, it was Jace that was the only one that's really like privy to what was going on. Damn. And then you had the whole shit going down where like the parents of the kids are all like, it kind of reminded me of like, what was it, the second or third episode of Game of Thrones with Arya and uh, her wolf Nymeria. Yeah. That was her wolf's name. How Nymeria attacked Joffrey and then Cersei wanted the wolf put to death, but Nymeria ran away. Right. So she killed Sansa's wolf instead. It was kind of reminded of the whole dynamic because Allison's like, no, I want eye for an eye. I want you to take Luke's eye. Yep. And they were having, and then the fact that she took Aegon's dagger essentially and went attacking Luke, and then Renera got in the way, and then she cut Renera. I thought right there was seriously going to like, like do something to reprimand the reprimand Allison. But I think at that point, like Alice or Viserys is like, look, I just he's like for this whole like last whatever how many years of his life he's like i just don't want any drama i want our families to stick together regardless of the writing that's on the wall everybody knows like when he went to call out like when Aegon Aemon, said that Aemon pointed to Aegon about how did you hear the rumor about the illegitimate parents and then when he went to Aegon, he was like everybody knows like you have to know this by now like, like you have eyes fuck? he's like you have eyes and he's like at that point he's like fuck it like i'm, I'm just we're done he's like it's no, over with no. if anybody and talks then, about this i'm cutting out your tongue and then a man or not man how's his name Aemon. Aemon. Aemon was like at least set a, a, you know, I'll call it a bar where he's like, I don't know, he goes, it's a fair price. You know, trade my eye for a dragon. Yeah, lost my eye, gained a dragon. And not uh, a dragon, the dragon. Yeah, biggest dragon as of this right now. Yeah, I'm sorry, right Vagar, now. I've been putting disrespect in your name. I keep calling you him to her. But yeah. Yeah, she's like, don't yeah. I mispronounce my gender. Yeah, I'm, I'm a queen dragon. <laughs> and the fact that, like, through all this shit, like, kind of rumors are spreading that Allison was losing her shit and Otto was obviously proud of his daughter because he's like honestly i never because he didn't see her whole display at the wedding reception he wasn't there so this is his first time actually seeing allison grow set of nuts and especially like in a physical form like attacking and and wanting justice and he's like honestly like like amen said it best we gained vagar as a dragon so i mean in the long in the long game when shit starts to hit the fan it worked out yeah that's crazy i mean and then during all that too during that court session you have renair and damon showing up after their love fest yeah, so they finally like, like an auto like, scene it too. I was like, like mm, interesting. But yeah, I mean, <laughs> it's it's never. We kind of said it, like they both are essentially single at this point. So of course, but it was crazy that Renee was the one that was taking initiative. Like, no, I need you. I miss you. Like, this is inevitable. Like, I'm not a child no more. So I'm not a child anymore. So, so we'll see if you really love me or not. So, but no, I feel like with with Damon, it was, it was only a matter of time. I knew that the writing was on the wall. I didn't expect him to hook up right there. Like, which I'm assuming it was in the same day, the same 24 hour period of Lena's uh, funeral, but. The fact that they, like, were plotting... At first, like, when Renera's like, yeah, let's get married. And, and even we were saying, like, well, what's going to happen with Lena? Lena literally just, like, yeah, professed was, his love. Like, saying, I'm going to take care of our family. I'm going to be the husband I haven't been. At first, when I... We, we caught on before they did the reveal at the end. But yeah. at, before I didn't catch on, I, like, there's, like, a part of me, like, oh, man, I might have to switch switch teams. I might be whatever what is it what they call it a bandwagon and go to team allison at this point because that's fucked up you did the nor dirty like that bro yeah, yeah. I've, right after he's like i'm gonna be the husband i should have been and, but and then, then, like, then i was like nah but now it's kind of thing sense. like he was willing to do whatever so renera probably came up with that plan with lanor first and then told damon about it that's why he's damon's like well d- for us to get married lanor has to die and she's like i know as in we already figured that shit out so yeah. then so yeah so essentially what happened he went to carl and was pretty much like oh you and um, you and Lena can just run away. Probably told him to run away to Essos. Yeah, and they like, had so much choreography done before, so they knew that oh, we're not going to kill each other. We just need a witness to go run off and get somebody. Yeah, and that's why Damon killed that the other bystanders, and, like snapped his neck, and the other scene because they used his body in the fire. Yeah. So yeah, I mean, it, it was a perfect plan, and it worked out. It shows that you know, Renera, at least Renera, because Renera and Lena probably came up with a plan, but she's not ruthless enough to like literally kill Lena. Yeah. But the thing is. 
Renus and Carlos are not in on the plan, so they're meanwhile like uh, in complete agony over the fact that their son. They think their yeah. son's dead. Do you think that would be like a based on the previews of the next episode? That would be a final like curveball, like if need be, like if it came down to where um, Lord Corliss uh, was like, you know, we're we're gonna go side with the High Tower, and I finally like, oh no, I got all right, come over here and secret, 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 your your son's alive. Yeah, I'm wondering, like, because, I mean, you think about it this way. Like, at the wedding ceremony between uh, Damon and Renera, both of Damon's kids were there, and obviously both of Renera's kids were there. I mean, we didn't yeah. see Joffrey this whole episode, at least not to my knowledge. And we didn't see him in the previews either, not to my knowledge. But, yeah, we'll, we'll assume Joffrey's maybe just being babysat back in uh, King's Landing. <laughs> but, um, or not, but we'll assume he's being babysat at Dragonstone, because that's yeah. where she's at now. But, yeah, I mean, the fact that, like, Renus's grandkids are obviously siding with with Damon the father so when push comes to shove because of like the conversation Renus had with, with Coral I said look I don't want the throne you keep trying to bring this up that it should be me I'm over that shit I want if anything I want the throne to get passed down to my grandkids because yeah. for me if we're our talking about legacy yeah, our actual grandkids that are actually like within the, the bloodline because you and me both know that Lanor's not the father of those fucking kids yep. everybody knows at this point so so I feel like because the grandkids are signing with Damon she, if there was a line drawn on the stand Renus would be Team Damon and Team Renair. Yeah. Now, Corliss, on the other hand, I mean, he kind of owes it to Damon, so I feel like he would kind of be, he would be more Team Damon as well, but Damon would not be. And the next episode, it seems like Corliss is getting a fatal blow because they're fighting that war at the yeah. sandstone between with the triarchy and them. So if Corliss is out of the picture, we kind of see like there's almost like a civil war within the Valerian house where Damon's like, well, who's going to yeah. have the Driftwood throne? So if it comes to that, I feel like Veyman's going to be more Team Allison because he'll be more like Team Otto because they share that hatred for Damon. Yep, exactly. So I feel like, yeah, and that's going to be a line in the same between the Valerian. So it's like a civil war. Because he was looking war. at Renera dirty too during the funeral because he's like looking at it like those aren't like the same as... Um, she was, he was looking at how... He, he looked like how Rhaenyra's felt as far as like, those aren't our fucking... That's not my nephews. Yeah, like those aren't. They have no relation to me at all. Like looking <laughs> at her like, yeah, good. He's looking at me like, those aren't my great nephews, bitch. Exactly. So yeah, I mean, and the fact is that like that I don't know. I feel like shit's definitely gonna hit the fan. I mean, it's already been hitting the fan, but this is gonna continue to circulate and slice up within the fan in the next episode. I do want to know though at the beginning of the episode. So as far as like the next episode, we obviously get another time jump. And the thing is like because the kids look older, it could it could only be me like a four or five year time jump because the kids are gonna age a lot faster than our hey, main Eamon adult hit, characters. Eamon hit a growth spurt. Eamon hit a big ass growth spurt. He literally looks like a snake from Metal Gear Solid he, three or he four. He looks whatever. like he should be on Vagar. Yeah, he's earned the right to be on. He look, he's like, he's taller than Aegon. He looks and Aegon good. looks like, like because of the scarring on his face, Aemon looks like the older brother, even though he's not. Yeah, and we definitely see like more fighting between, uh, between Aemon and Aegon and Luke and Jace. But the thing is, like you're kind of bringing it up, Aegon right, and Aemon have the advantage because they've been trained by Kristen this entire time. Whereas Jace, we already know from last episode that Jace and. Uh, Jason and Luke were kind of being neglected by Chris during the train. They weren't getting as much training. And they were probably getting more training from their father. And now, obviously, Harwin's dead. So, I'm assuming Damon's been training them. But Damon. they're at a disadvantage as far as, like, a straight-up fight. Yeah, I mean, it depends on who would argue. The book readers would say Damon's a better warrior than Sir Chris, even though he did lose. He had his back turned. I mean, fair. I feel like ever since Damon... Or ever since Aemon has Vagar, he's got this big dick dragon energy, and obviously showed in this episode. I feel it's just going to continue through. Yeah, where he's going to be a force to be reckoned. He'll probably be like the muscle, and the Aegon will just be like obviously I'm on the royalty, like I'm the older yeah. brother. I like I about Luke and Jace, though, based on the previous whoever it is, or if not both. And I don't know if Joffrey's somewhere in the mix hiding in the background, but he threw they throw hands. They're like fuck you. I don't give a fuck about your eye patch, bitch. I'll still swing on your ass. Well, I mean, yeah, I even said it in the last episode. Like they have heart. Especially Jace. Jace says, "Hard." He's like, "I'll swim. I don't care if I'm smaller. Like, I'm gonna still go at yeah, you." I got that. I got yeah. I got my dad's energy. We both got our dad's energy, and Luke probably got it. Grew up with it too. Like, yeah, hey, they're brothers. They're ride or die. And they got Renair. Renair's got that fire, and they're like, "Fuck you." Yeah, Dude. exactly. So, <laughs> but it seems like Otto. It seems like Viserys is like pretty much on his deathbed in the next episode. Yeah, literally. Like, on literally, his like, he's been dying for like. And you know what? Viserys years is probably now. watching our reaction to all the reactions. Like, shut the fuck up. You guys say I'm gonna be dead in the next episode. You've been saying this shit since fucking episode five. I'm still here, motherfuckers. Whatever your time, yeah. I've been saying you're on borrowed time. There's only so much you can take. You're you're a real one because you're pretty much a survivor and you just won't go down. But <laughs> well, the question is, if you're a betting man, do you think I'm done on, on this next episode? Or do you think I'll make it to episode nine? You'll probably be in your deathbed for like, like until the season finale. 
I'm starting to think that maybe you don't get killed. Maybe you just die from your from your injuries and from this uh, disease that's been killing you for the past 15 yeah, years. Yeah, because we still got 8, 9, and 10. And depending on the time jump, I don't know, either at the end of episode 8 or the beginning of somewhere in episode 9, he's gone. Or he might he might got the full contract. He gets 10 episodes. <laughs> Four either way. But yeah, the crazy thing oh, is, like, shit. meanwhile, like, Otto is pretty much speaking on his behalf because he's pretty much, like, dying, dying now. Where he can't, he can barely speak. And he, like... And then Rhaenyra is pretty much going to Damon like, oh, these vipers are, are like sitting on the throne at King's that's, Landing. That's what I'm hoping, though. Like like you said, it's like a four or five year jump. Hopefully during that four or five years, they Rhaenyra hasn't just been chilling at Dragonstone and not going to visit her father. Because yeah. now you got... And then, like you said, I think off camera, Ember was saying that I don't, at this point, we don't think his father, Viserys, is going to change the way he feels. I think if Viserys was going to turn on Rhaenyra, it would have happened this episode with everybody knowing yeah. that that Rhaenyra's was hooking up with Harwin. Those aren't Lenor's kids. Yeah. I feel like at that point he drew the line and said, like, I don't care. Like, if, I don't care if you have DNA tests, if you have hair samples, hair follicles, whatever the shit. I'm putting my foot down. I'm Team Rhaenyra. And if anybody keeps talking about this shit, your tongue's gone. Just like the Scarab Squad. Well, Otto's like, I'm talking for you now because you're on your deathbed. I speak for the king and I'm going to say what's up. Well, good. You're going to keep sitting there and filling other people's head with bullshit. I'm sure you are going to be successful in getting everybody to be a Team Aegon. But you, what you weren't probably expecting, you're expecting Rhaenyra and Damon just to fuck off and be married and not even mess with you guys. As soon as they get back to King's Landing, you're gonna be like, "Yo, Grace, <laughs> yo, Grace." He goes, uh, "Don't even try to say that." During the during the previous and next episode, I definitely didn't look like I was getting up off the throne like I was scared. Yeah, you look like somebody that you didn't want the smoke from pulled up in the throne room, and yeah, that's exactly what happened. So I'm definitely not gonna be like, "Yo, Grace." <laughs> you're definitely gonna, your Grace all over your. You're gonna piss your pants like, "Yo, Grace." <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I mean, I feel like. That shit's gonna come to a head, like where Renera and Damon are gonna pull up, like um, it's gonna be brothers on brothers. And it seems like Dame, or it seems like Damon's trying to hatch more dragon eggs. Now they know they're kind of at a disadvantage because Vagar's on Team Allison at this point, Team Aegon. So at this point, we're kind of splitting up like the the two sides of who has whose dragon. So how many dragons were at the beginning of the episode? We had five. I mean, I feel like there was five Vagar. that was there that were there near the uh, the Driftmark Castle, and then oh, and then Vagar was sleeping off in the distance. You know, here's the thing. Do you think one of the daughters will get sea smoke now that Len- Lenore is... Yeah, if Lenore is Lenore's like pretty much leaving all that shit behind faking his own death, yeah, someone would have to get sea smoke. I'm guessing it would be the oldest. Or um, this, or the one that... The youngest that was egg never hatched. Or does... Um, oh, shit. Does uh, does Uncle have a dragon? V- Vaymon? V- um, did we ever see if he has a dragon or not? I don't think if he does, we haven't seen him. Or even Lord Corliss, but... I don't know. I'm just, but I would imagine I would, either way. Well, no, because Corliss does not does not have any Targaryen blood. I don't think Vaemon does either. Okay, so so, so it would only be like yeah, Lenor, Lena, and then their offspring would be the only ones that would be. So we'll have at least Vermax, and one of the girls will probably get sea smoke. The girl that doesn't have the dragon, the one that's like Vagar was supposed to be mine. She'll probably yeah, I feel get like sea she'll smoke. get sea smoke, and then the oldest one already has a dragon. I don't know if we've seen her dragon yet. I don't think we yeah. have. And then as far as that goes, then we have Vermax. Craxies and Syrah. Yep. And then whatever eggs that Damon is trying to hatch to kind of grow their dragon army. What about the three other brothers? And then on Alicent and Aegon's side, they have Sunfire. They have Vagar now. Um, and then I want to say Helena has a, has a dragon too. I would assume that Helena, Helena has a dragon. We just haven't seen is or met the dragon. Is Dreamfire? Or isn't there one? Maybe else? she has Dreamfire. Or one of Dreamfire's eggs. I'm not sure. Yeah. And then also um, on our side, on like the on Rhaenyra's side, let's say, assuming Renus joins Team Damon or Rhaenyra because of her grandkids, then you also have Renus' dragon, uh, Maelys, I believe. But the fact that Vagar's the largest dragon, that does yeah. kind of give a little bit of an advantage. Yeah, even Otto pointed that out. Exactly. So that's why he's like, in the long game, it's all good. But yeah, it's crazy just to see, like, little by little, we're seeing this Civil War build, but I still feel like we, I don't know if they're going to get to the Dance of the Dragons this season. But I feel like we're going to start to draw, like, permanent lines in the sand, especially once Viserys finally dies. Then that whole... The whole Game of Thrones really kicks off because now it's like, oh, now we're going to be Team Aegon or Team Rhaenyra. Yeah, no, I don't know because I don't read the books. So I don't know how these time jumps compared to the books. Like, only the book readers will know of, like, if we're, if we're getting that Rhaenyra death this season mm-hmm. or if it's going to be later on. And same thing, like you said, is the Dance of the Dragons, is that going to be another season? Is that going to be. I wouldn't be surprised if they packed it in one episode just because of what they would, you know, they did with Game of Thrones with the, the winter battle in one episode. I mean, I feel like the the Civil War itself is going to be more than just one battle. I feel it's going to be a lot of betrayal back and forth. forth. Yeah. So yeah, I mean, I think they're going to if they do it in one episode, it'll be like probably one of the longest episodes of House of the Dragon, or they'll break <laughs> it up over two or three episodes. Yeah. But yeah, I mean, it's just crazy to see how shit's hitting the fan. Also with Allison, you have her and and Laris talking at the end, 
And Larry, I mean, Larry hasn't really like showing his hand just yet. He's kind of like letting, like reminding her, like being present, like reminding her, like, yeah, you know, your dad's hand because of me. But he's still kind of like Bro. knowing his place. He's like knows how to play his role because he's like, you know, if you need, if you still want the eye for an eye, I can make it happen. I got my scarab squad. And and Allison's like, well, when time comes, when the right time comes, I will ask you for that favor. So it's not so much yeah. Larish is like acting as if he holds all the cards. He's still willing to yeah. do favors for Allison. Yeah, the when thing, the time calls for it. Yeah, the thing is, he he'd be. I guess he was just asking that, like you said, he he probably knew that it was a rhetorical question. He probably knew, and like she's not gonna say yes. But if she does, that Allison would have been dumb because it would have been instant. Yeah, we know where that order came from. So I feel like Lair's is still gonna do like what if something that Allison needs. But at the same time, he also knows if Allison gets out of line, he has dirt overhead. Here's what I want to know, though. Here's a million dollar question I want to know. And I want to ask the Game of Thrones fans, House of Dragon fans, and even you, Ember. Why the fuck? We know the history of this show, the creators of the show. Why has no one killed Viserys? Well, I feel like, I guess, I was expecting... Especially I, if he doesn't suspect, change his mind. I suspect that Allison would be the one that, like, that would be the favor that she has for, for Lair. It's like, oh, Viserys is still on his bullshit. He's still Team Rhaenyra, and I can't change his mind. Can we go ahead and just kill him before he gets this will out? Or kill him and then spread rumors that there was no will, or spread rumors that he put Aegon as the heir in the will. He changed his mind about Rhaenyra. I feel maybe, like if maybe that's, that's one reason why keeping him alive. Just to, but I feel like is it safe to say do you think Allison actually genuinely cares about him or not? Like a little bit enough where she wouldn't mm-hmm. want to murder him, like murder. I, I I feel like she. I know for sure Vis, if Viserys cares about her. Regardless of what people want to say, I know Viserys cares about her. Yeah, otherwise he would have he would have punished her for slicing Rhaenyra. Yeah, he loves her. But at the same time, I mean, I feel like she does have some kind of feelings towards him. People say that she's been in this because of her father this whole time. She never loved him. I feel like at some point she did care about him. Yeah, I'm saying I'm not saying she loves him like a romantic. I think she does but care about him. I feel like she has to choose between her kids and Viserys. She's going to choose her kids. Yeah, all day. And that if that means Viserys has got to die for Aegon to be king. It is what it is. Yeah, that's the thing though. They gotta. They're probably. Maybe I'm answering my question now. I feel dumb. Maybe they're keeping him alive, hoping that he'll change his mind. But at this point, it doesn't look like he's changed his mind. So they're gonna have to lie. They're gonna have to lie. And I wonder if it's gonna be similar to the whole Robert's will that he gave Ned to complete. And Robert's like, oh, make sure that um, Joffrey is put in there as an heir. And Ned changes the will that whoever is the rightful heir to the throne. And then Cersei tears that will up because that's the only thing that kind of proves what Ned was saying. I feel like it is gonna be something here where. Viserys has a written out will saying that Rhaenyra is the heir and all that you have to do is pretty much destroy the will and now there's no evidence of that ever happening. What's crazy? Or can there be like witnesses? Because I mean, but again, even if that's the case, I feel like there's going to be a civil war anyway because I feel like Otto, Otto and Allison are going to do their job as far as getting people on Team Aegon yep. and then Rhaenyra's going to have her side. So you know, regardless what? of who's in the will, how it goes down, there's going to be a civil war. Yeah, that's the, inevitable. The thing is, I, I'm glad that at least, it's funny, I was watching, um, uh, there's these reactors, I, I wish I'd give them a shout out on the channel, but it's funny because it said house of dragon reactors first time watching game of thrones and depending on how much they're binge watching it's going to be funny because house of dragons isn't done yet if they when they get to that if they get to that joffrey episode first and you're like oh fuck you joffrey but at the end of the day, you don't really you can't prove that joffrey knows what he's talking about you probably just heard that from somebody that heard that from somebody other than somebody. somebody that's one of one that's that's the interesting thing about Renera. like this like going in on it like like you said because it's People over exaggerate over years and years of how the story was told, what really happened, who really killed who, what really, you know, is that word for word true? And if if it is true, you know, it's it's like crazy because like while as we're watching it in the moment, you're like you're rooting for Renera, you're rooting for like, at least we don't know what happens to Damon. I don't, I've never read the book, so if, even if Renera's fate is what Joffrey said, I still don't know how Damon's gonna respond now that he's her husband. He ain't gonna be really? like he's gonna be like, oh, you, now my my nephew's getting the smoke. Yeah, and I mean, we don't really know, because is this going to be one of those things where you start switching sides where you think 100%, well, I'm Team Rhaenyra, obviously. Team Allison, you know, they've been fucked on some fuck shit. But what if Team, uh, like, Rhaenyra and Damon do some shit that we don't agree with? We're like, eh, I don't like how you're going about that. I was starting to get that way when she was talking about killing Lainor until I knew yep. it was all an elaborate plan. But what if they do some real shit that we're like, eh, we don't really, I'm kind of Team Aegon now. Like, yep. I feel like this, the way the storytelling is, we can easily flip sides. And kind of what you're saying, whatever side ends up being the lineage that we end up getting. Jon Snow is that gonna make us bias on what side we're gonna go for? Yeah, because like that's what someone said in the comments. They didn't put it. They didn't put it as a spoiler. They just put it as a cool analogy. Like I'm not gonna say which side to go for. I'm just saying, if you knew though 
that the side you were rooting for, whichever it may be, was the opposite side that would lead the job. Like if you had a time machine, or especially what this person was saying in the comments, and you were saying, I don't agree with Allison, or I don't agree with Nair, and you took them out, but in doing so, you Jon Snow didn't exist, would you still feel the same way? It's like, fuck, yeah, I don't think about that. I do like Jon John yeah. Snow as a character. But whatever happens, happens. So, I mean, it already know, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. History's already written, but it's cool, like, Whoever you're rooting for, if it's obviously like once the show, once it's all said and yeah, done, yeah, you would have bias knowing what you already know. Like, yeah, would you be biased? Yeah, it was just interesting to throw that curveball out there. Well, other than that, I mean, I feel like this outro has been like fucking half a yeah, day it's long, been a nightmare but, that I have to edit. Yeah, have fun with that. But other than that, <laughs> great episode, amazing show. I can't wait to see how the, how they uh, tackle this time jump and how much shit hits the fan next episode of Final Thoughts Glacier. Yeah, Final Thoughts, great show. The only thing I won't miss is editing these fucking outros. But other than that, I mean, House of Dragons is. Like, I think my favorite movie of this year was Top Gun Maverick, and I think my f- favorite show of this year so far, at least that we've reacted to, is probably House of Dragons. So, I mean, call it bias. It is what it is. It's got dragons in it, and there's a storytelling, music, acting, all of the above. Dragon certified. I mean, this show's amazing, plus it has dragons. I'm not saying this show's <laughs> amazing because it has dragons. Yeah. Dragons are the cherry, but the sundae, the whipped cream, the ice cream, all that shit is the storytelling, the character development, the acting, the cinematography, the sound design, all that shit. And, and they're doing a good job even with the time jumps. Yeah, no, time jumps, I don't feel like I'm like you're skipping important shit. I feel like, if anything, they're skipping to the most important shit. And it still gives us these gaps that we can kind of fill in with our own imagination just based on the acting, how yeah. characters are acting towards each other, the tension, the yeah. you know, the new relationships, the old relationships. I feel like they, they're doing that masterfully. And yeah, can't wait to see more. Dragon Star, I fucking hit it. And there you have it, guys. Another one in the books. Real questions. What did you guys think in there in Jurassic School Land? Again, how are you guys handling as far as like the uh, the alliances here? Do you guys feel like Viserys is going to die sickly in his bed, or is he going to get taken out prematurely? Um, and then with you know, as far as like the alliances, who do you think has the advantage in terms of like which side has the stronger dragons? Um, as far as the dragons that we haven't met yet, I don't think we've officially met. We saw Sunfire in the last episode. We haven't officially seen his power set or how powerful or how big he actually is in comparison to the other dragons. Or I don't think we've seen Dreamfire either. We haven't seen Dreamfire yet. Um, so is your favorite dragon yet to be introduced in this show or do you already have a favorite? Let us know down below. Thanks so much for watching this video, guys. Remember to like, subscribe, and leave a comment down below. And if you like what you see, you can check out more videos right now. But until next time, we'll, we'll see, see you next time. time.